so this morning, I this morning I went to go get a pizza. And I stopped in the Dollar Tree because I ended up being there a little bit early before the place opened. And uh, holy shit, I got some really awesome things here to show you. This is not all the stuff that I found. Uh, I had to pull back a little bit just money-wise because it was a lot of spending. But uh, let's get into all this cool goodies here. Um, let's start with the DVDs. Um, so this is the one I regret buying. Charlotte's Web 1 and 2. I don't know why I thought I either I, I thought I bought this and like got rid of it or something and for a buck I was like oh yeah I get that it's got the director video sequel and the theatrical movie um I do have this so I will probably give that to someone else I know who could use that um I grabbed the movie this movie here called twisted and this movie has Samuel Jackson and some other people in it. Uh, the reason I bought this is this is actually out of print, from what I understand. I was looking it up, and it's only been released to DVD. It's got uh, director's commentary and a bunch of other bonus features. This is the widescreen version. There's a full screen version, so I guess when you're looking through these at Dollar Tree, look through that. Uh, I didn't see a full screen version there, but I was just saying just in case. Uh, you know, but... It, this movie, I guess, it says it came out in 2004. So this is out of print. No Blu-ray. It probably will get a Blu-ray, just knowing the fact that Paramount does a lot of those releases. Um, but who knows? I don't know what the quality of this movie is or anything. But because it was out of print, it does have Samuel L. Jackson in it. And, it, you know, I think once something's released by a major studio, like, oh, you see a Paramount or Universal logo on some of these titles at Dollar Tree, I wouldn't say always buy them, but you should be more inclined to buy them just by the fact that, oh, it's a legitimate studio. Like, I don't buy none of the Echo Bridge shit that some people do at Dollar Tree because it, cause it's all terrible. Like, there's no, I, I never watch it. This, I could see myself watching. Who knows what the quality of the movie is, but there's the disc there. There's the back. I, I don't know. Interesting uh, little movie there. I bought Key and Pill Season 3. Um, I bought this because it was like, it, it was right there, and I love Key and Peele. I don't have the other seasons, but I would gladly get them because I do love myself some Key and Peele. I find them very funny. Um, I love Jordan Peele, of course, so this is awesome to have, um, for a buck. And, uh, you know, when it, it, how crazy is this? You're finding a whole season of a show at Dollar Tree, disc one and two there, so that's cool. You know, but it still is crazy. You're finding a whole season of a show for a buck. Like, okay, a movie's a little bit different. Because, sure, I mean, it's amazing that you could buy a movie for a buck, you know. But, like, when you're talking about buying a, um, a whole season of a show, crazy. Another season of a show here. A spec spectacle with Elvis Costello. Um, this is season one. It's a five-disc set. Here's what's really interesting about it. It's got Sir Elton John. Uh, Sir Elton Hercules John on here. It has a thing on it. President Bill Clinton has an interview on here. The Police have an interview on here. My favorite band. Uh, John Mellencamp. James Taylor. And then you see uh, a couple other things. Uh, there's over 60 musical performances. Uh, Purple Haze. You really got... You've really got a hand on me. Fire and rain. Sorry seems to be the hardest w word. Walking on sunshine. Or sorry. Sunshine of your love. Walking on the moon. Roxanne. The way you look tonight. For a buck. I, I mean. Oh, I don't even know what this is. I picked this up. I, I barely even knew what it was. The more I looked at it. I was like. Oh. That is going to be something. I'm going to want to check out. And let's see here. Let's pull that open. Okay. Okay, let me get this. Oh. See, this is a hard one to open because the way the wrapping is and the and the. This, 
Okay. Okay, but, yeah, look at this. I mean, this is interesting. I don't know what this is, uh, what this show was, where it aired, but, I mean, just for the performances and bands and musicians I like, it's also interesting that Bill Clinton's on this. Um... Man, this, oh, this is a fancy set right here. Um, oh, these discs are pretty, held in pretty terribly. Like, there's not even, so there's usually like a peg that holds these in place. There is not one in here. Uh, there's a booklet in here, which is neat. But that's cool. So that's a buck. That is really in that's really neat. I'm actually really glad I glad this. This is the one thing I was like, eh, I don't know. And then just the more I looked at it, I was like, all right, I'll grab that. Um, let's grab and then I grabbed some the now let's get into the Blu-rays here. So I grabbed Chuck. This movie has got Jim Gaffigan in it. Naomi Watts and Ron Perlman and some other people in it, but. Those are the main ones I recognize. Um, it's it's right here. This is the tagline of the movie is the good fillers of boxing movies, which to me sounds like Raging Bull. If we're going to like say something like that, this does not look as good as that, but it is a Paramount Blu-ray and I figured for a buck, I would check that out. I do like boxing movies. Uh, if you know me, I'm a huge Rocky fan. So there you go. Uh, Florence Foster Jenkins. This is another Paramount Blu-ray. Uh, it's got Meryl Streep and Hugh Grant. I like those people. Um, movie's probably not great, but I do like those people. So for a buck. Boyhood. Uh, this is a movie that I've heard actually great things about it. Uh, a Richard Link Linkletter film. Ethan Hawke's in this movie. That's pretty neat. Um, so for a buck, I definitely was going to grab that one. I've I feel like I've heard really great things about it, but I could be thinking of a different movie. So, but that was great. Uh, we have Doctor Who, Twice Upon a Time. This is a, like a Christmas special that they did. I love Doctor... Uh, at least I think this is one of the Christmas specials they did, is it? No, it doesn't look like it is, but uh, Doctor Who for a buck, of course, I will grab that. Benji's very own Christmas story. Uh, grab that because I do love me some Benji. And uh, I do like grabbing Mill Creek titles because Mill Creek tends to put out like not always great movies, but interesting movies. So I like to grab those when I can. Uh, Scars of War. Uh, this is a four movie pack. Uh, it's got Casualties of War, Birdie. Some Summer Tree, Alamo Bay, uh, all these movies are put out like they're Sony movies. They're movies that like either are Columbia or TriStar movies, and basically Sony owns them, so that's why these were able to be put on a set. Uh, two movies on each disc, which uh, I'm looking trying to find the runtime. She doesn't say. Oh, here we go, ninety minutes. So you know these movies are about. A little over an hour and a half each, so about three hours on one disc. And that's not too bad. Um, and that's for a buck. So, I mean, I know people, I, I, I've been saying a buck, but I, I know it's a dollar twenty-five. You don't need to tell me, but like, you know, still great deals. And I can't believe I found some of this stuff. <laughs> My Dollar Tree has not been getting in stuff, and it's been making me really frustrated. Uh, but I found some awesome stuff today. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.